Hi everybody, Twin Mommy 101 here. Today we're going to bring you a step-by-step -step video of our most favorite carry, the Pop and Sip carry. This is a solo carry that you can do from newborn all the way up to preschool age. I'm going to be using my size 4 do-it-yourself asana today, but you can use a size 3. It's probably a better size because I always have extra tails with this one. You um, start with the middle marker on your back, but because on her set of her back, but because my wrap is so long, I start a little off-center so I can get snazzy with my tails. Lay it flat across their back. And now I'm going to keep bringing my back tail around, and I'm going to pull it over my shoulder. Now the key to getting this carry down in the beginning is making sure that this shoulder, when you do it, from the beginning, you want to make sure that you keep this shoulder pass spread. Otherwise, it's going to be super diggy and um, very uncomfortable. So I like to take it and put it just a little bit outside on the edge of my shoulder, I guess, maybe the middle of my shoulder, not sure how to describe it. That way, as I wrap, it has a little room to move up. That way, when I'm finished, it's not all up in my neck. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to pit it between my knees. I'm going to go ahead and make my baby's feet. I feel tight, honey. I feel tight. I feel tight. This is very flat. Okay, ready? So make sure it's spread flat, it's very comfortable for them. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get the majority in my slack, just a quick gather, nothing specific here. You got it, baby, you got it? Okay, so, one thing that's really important is that when you do the little twist, it should be um, corsage level, not too high, if you get it that high, props to you. Not too low, because if you put it too low, then your baby is less secure and you're gonna have to keep readjusting. So, corsage level is where you want to put it. You want to go ahead, and what's easiest for us is pulling out slack strand by strand and holding it in the opposite hand. Still holding that tail from that side. Now, to get that corsage level nice and high, and I'm going to put it right around where my bow is, but a little bit more center, I'm going to pull the slack out right at the area that I want the twist to happen. So I'm going to grab this and I just like to grab it here, grab it here, and I'm going to twist it. It's okay baby, we're almost done. And then bring it around. So the great thing about this is that since I had this spread out, I can just readjust it. If I had it spread out in the beginning, I wouldn't have any of this one here. Another thing that you can do here to make it a little bit more secure is take this pass and spread it up over your baby. Be careful because it might cause, see here, I get a little bit of extra slack, so I'd have to readjust it and tighten it. If you're going to be carrying with a newborn, you want to start off tummy to tummy and slowly transition them to the hip as they get a little bit more head control, neck control, turn control, etc., etc. Pop and sip carry in a size 4 woven. If you are going to be tandem carrying, please make sure you check out the tandem version of this carry, Amanda's Hip Carry, and you can find that on our YouTube channel. On TwinMommy101.com, you can find a whole section on baby wearing with tips and tricks that we learn along the way to master different carries and also everything else that makes our twin life go round. We'll see you soon, guys. Say bye. Haven't been the same since you came into my life. You found a way to touch my soul, and I'm never, ever, ever gonna let it go. Happiness lies in your own hand. It took me much too long to understand.